Welcome to Wager Talk TV, and it's time for Ask the Experts, so Teddy covers to the right of me. You guys know who I am, Kelly Stewart. Uh, question from KSV underscore three on Twitter. Teddy, how do you predict line movement, and when's the best time to place a bet so you get the best value? Kind of a lot to dissect there in that question. Sure. The best time to place a bet is when you're getting the best of the number. I, I mean, that's uh, as much as I can give you. Uh, but so how to predict line moves. The guys who do this for a living – we'll have someone sitting in front of the screen, okay? They're going to be aware when, when it ticks a half point here, a half point there. They're going to know they're going to be involved unless you're sitting in front of the screen all the time. And even I don't sit in front of the screen it's all the time. It's too much. It's boring. And the guys yes. who do it, look, they can make a living. We call them nits because, you know, they're taking a penny here and taking a penny yeah. there. And you can make a living doing that. It's not an exciting living. You know, it's not a living that you it's and I uh, choose to make. Exactly. So what I tend to do is I look for what I call leading indicator books. Offshore, the number one leading indicator book is still the pinnacle. But Absolutely. they're certainly not the only Chris. one. You, know, you have Chris, Grande, you know, books that cater to bigger betters that accept the wise guy dollars. In Vegas, you know, South Point, Westgate certainly stand out as two books uh, that will are, are leading indicator books. When the market moves at those books, other books tend to lag behind. So when I see the leading indicator book starting to move, move, <laughs> that's when I bet. You know, that's when I'm looking to, uh, okay, if I, if I have to get a number now, that's the time to do it. Um, when you say, do you beat the number every time? The best bettors in the world, and I'm not talking about the guys who are capable, who have the bankrolls to move the market, because the Billy and Walters. And have robots that log uh, into yeah, a thousand accounts yeah, at once. Because those guys are going to get the best of yes. the number just about all the time. But the best bettors in the world, we were debating, we were talking off camera. 75% of the time they're going to get a, a number that's as good or better than the closing number. That's not perfect. That's not even close to being perfect. So be aware. It's always a process. You're not always going to get the best of the number. And you do the best that you can, given the information that you have. In terms of when to bet, I mean, sometimes you, 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 you come out, the market's moving right away. You're like, boom, i got to hit this number right now, Sunday night, Monday morning. And then you make a, bag, a, a big bet, and then the market comes back the other, the other way. way. You're like, oh, just got the worst of it. Yes. That can and does happen. Uh, but the goal is not to have that happen all the time. So I'll make a lot of bets early. I'll make some bets mid midweek. I'll make a lot of bets late. Um, but all three times are, are legitimate betting times throughout the course of the week. Absolutely. Great stuff from Teddy. You guys have a question for Wager Talk TV? Just email us at questions at wagertalk.com with your topic and question.